Hey guys, hi guys, hey guys, hi guys, welcome, welcome again, <coughs> welcome to this YouTube channel, Anivia Nivia, <coughs> it happens, <coughs> if you are new here, you, <coughs> I need some hot water <coughs> to drink and clear my throat. But welcome to this channel that is if you are new here and if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for always coming back to check on us. And um, today, <laughs> I want to discuss behaviors, behaviors, behaviors. And yesterday, I discussed behaviors that men, <coughs> behaviors that women uh, do, those that uh, make their men disappear from their lives and i thought i talked at length about some of these behaviors that we know of and we ignore there are some things that we do we as ladies <coughs> that are so unpleasant that uh, the men in our lives will always run away and never to come back again and today i want to discuss those behaviors that men also do because also women, women can also run away. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, because this, I don't know what devil is this. Forgive me for that. Now, there are also things that um, men do that would make their women disappear from their lives. And uh, somebody can ask, oh, can a woman disappear from a man's life? Yes. Yes, yes. A woman will choose to live alone than to live with somebody who is... You know, a nag, somebody who who cannot give you happiness, somebody who embarrasses you, somebody who doesn't brush his teeth, somebody who doesn't shower, somebody who doesn't do things the proper way. A woman will choose to do away with such kind of a man. And yesterday I spoke about things that make women, you know, that make men disappear from men's, from um, things that make men disappear from women's lives and uh, i spoke at length about brushing the teeth <clears throat> showering scrubbing your heel you know cooking uh, and clean food not washing your toilets not uh, you know making your house neat you know some of these things and clean bathrooms you know all these things i discussed yesterday and there are some of the things that make most of the things that make men disappear from their women's lives because a man will check and look and say, hey, I don't think I like, <clears throat> I don't think I like this lady because of the way she behaves. She doesn't clean up. She doesn't uh, shower. She has a smell, you know. She, stin she stinks, you know. When you have that odor from your body and you don't wash your body, you don't clean up. Somebody will get tired and will wonder, oh, until when am I going to live with this kind of an odor, body odor from this woman? And you'll not even know when he's disappearing. You'll later come to find that this person already left and went. And uh, women have to improve and change so that they sustain and retain their men in their lives. Because a man is very important in a woman's life. I want to say for sure that a man is very, very important in a woman's life. So um, a woman has to keep the man all the time. And if that and uh, unkemptness can make a woman uh, be left alone, can make a man disappear, then it's not something that we should encourage. <clears throat> so yesterday I spoke at length about that. And today I want to talk about men. Men, where are you? Can you say, oh, oh. <laughs> what are men supposed to say? <clears throat> men in the house, can you say that? Then we know that you are listening and you are there. Things that, that can make men also disappear from their women's life. You know? Well, women disappear from their lives. Things that can make women disappear from men's life. Yes. There are men who can disappear. There are women who can also disappear from men's lives. Because they'll look and say, Hey, I cannot live with this forever. Maybe you are dating somebody. Or you are in your initial days of, of life. And you, you are seeing somebody. And this man still doesn't brush his teeth. He goes for days. This person is thinking in the mouth. When you are speaking, when you are kissing, when you are sleeping together, there's a bad smell coming out of his mouth. Because you don't brush your tongue, you don't brush your teeth. 
this will make a woman go away very very fast it doesn't matter what you have a woman is gonna leave you because of a bad smell in the mouth <clears throat> and i want to tell you for sure that there are some things that you can't stomach bad smell bad order of the body it will not make you stay so uh men who do not brush their teeth thoroughly and men who sleep without even brushing their teeth men who smoke and they are not clean you know the smell of cigarette and all that men who drink and have that awful smell of drink in their of alcohol in their mouths men women do, do not like that and especially the cheap liquor it smells very very badly and a woman will will not uh, stomach that kind of a smell because this man may be smoking and now there he goes and takes the very cheap liquor and the mouth is smelling like sewage uh-huh this man may have anything but there's no woman that is going to come near him because nobody wants to live that life of uh, suffering a bad smell in the mouth all through their lives so you'll see a woman of substance in your life but you'll not know even the time she left because there's no woman that will want to suffer that kind of a stinking mouth another thing that would make a, 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 a woman leave a man is that you know the drinking the drinking you are ever drunk you are ever drunk you know it doesn't matter what you drink but you are ever drunk when do you ever have time to think you drink too much every time you see alcohol you stop whatever you are doing you stop everything because you want to go and drink you are never sober you know you are never able to think because you are always drunk. You embarrass your wife. You keep falling down every now and then that you, because you are staggering, you have taken too much. You keep banging your car if you are a driver because you are drunk. Banging other people's vehicles because you are drunk. You keep, you know, looking very unkempt because a drunk person does not even have time to shower or to think. You are always very unkempt. You have a stinking body. Shoes are always very dirty. A lady will not stomach that. You may wonder or maybe ask, uh, isn't the lady the one who's supposed to polish your shoes? Yes, there are some ladies who do that. But if you don't shower, what am I polishing your shoes for? Because you have not even showered. Am I going to care the shoes that you are wearing, whether they are polished or not? So, this person shows from the word go that they are not, they are not responsible. They are not responsible. They keep doing things that are wrong all the time. And I want to tell you that this is a very, very, very bad show. Very bad show. Somebody has to be clean in their body. Somebody has to wear nicely, a clean shirt. You cannot wear a dirty vest and wear it ten times and then you start thinking that somebody can stomach that. When you are seen with a dirty lining of a, a vest inside by somebody, that's very bad. So that is one thing that can make somebody run away very, very fast, even in a man. Socks, smelling socks, you know, you should never wear socks twice. Never. There are men who read, wear socks even two or three times. And you know, feet smell. Feet smell because they are always encrusted in shoes. So the minute you, you wear socks and you, you wear them a second and a third day and a fourth day, then I'm telling you there's nobody who's going to stomach that bad stale stench from the shoes. Always make sure that you change your socks you wash your shoes and you clean them and air them. Air your shoes when you're not wearing them. Let them be aired so that they don't stink. That is one thing that people don't know, that shoes are supposed to be aired because your feet are always in that shoes, in that pair of shoes. And if you don't air that shoe, it's going to smell. Always have that <clears throat> put out there. Another thing that I dislike and I dislike and I dislike is a toothpick in the mouth a toothpick in the mouth you know a man goes to eat uh, nyamachoma nyamachoma is beef with other men out there and this man uses a toothpick after finishing the, 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 the eating but that toothpick he walks out with it starts talking to people and the toothpick is still in the mouth you know and it takes an hour or two when, when still you are chewing that chewing what is a toothpick doing in the mouth mm? and most of these men that do that are those that go eating out there and they don't buy that meat to take home to their wives that is if they have wives and if they, are, they don't have wives 
they have a tendency of walking with a toothpick. I don't know what they want to say or to show out there. And that toothpick portrays you very, very badly. It's very bad when you eat meat and you have a, or whatever food, and you, but mostly it is meat, and you are offered a toothpick by the, the person who served you, whatever hotel, whatever butchery, whatever bar, make sure that you use that toothpick and leave it there or throw it away or leave it where you are served. Because walking out of that door with it when it is still in your mouth is very barbaric. It's, it's very sad. So those men that walk out of bars and butcheries with toothpicks in my mouth, this is a turn off completely for their women. Have you ever seen a woman with a toothpick in the mouth? And if you ever see one, that one, I don't know where that woman was born or brought up because it's, it's very barbaric. So that is that. Another thing that you should know, you men, that will make women disappear from you is your other wears, other garments. There are men who wear these garments twice or thrice. There are also those that wear torn ones, torn ones. And uh, <laughs> can you imagine a woman noticing that the, the, the man's or the boyfriend's or the, the spouse's uh, underwear is torn? And on noticing that, you know, this woman just, you know, has nothing to do. There's nothing they can do because the underwear is torn. But you notice a hole in the underwear. You also notice this underwear was worn yesterday and today and it has not been changed. As a woman, you look like this and you take off completely because how do you shower and wear an underwear that you had worn yesterday? How do you do that? How do you also wear a torn underwear yet you are wearing a, a nice shirt and a nice trouser that is not torn? There's nobody who's going to stomach that. <laughs> Because there are some things that are not even expensive. You can buy as many as you want. But wearing those with Madirisha, we call them Madirisha, the torn ones. And a lady comes and sees a torn underwear. It is a turn off. It is a turn off completely. Because whatever you wanted to do with that lady cannot even go on. This lady will be turned off completely. It shows what kind of a person you are. And it shows you are your backwardness. <laughs> I know you may say, okay, it's the responsibility of a lady maybe to make sure that his man has got this and that, yes. But these are the initial times that you are meeting somebody <clears throat> and you are fighting him, a 40-year-old, a 30-year-old, a 25-year-old, and here you are dating them. You have not even started staying together, but this person cannot even buy an underwear. What am I going to be doing with this kind of a person? What are we going to be discussing? How can I trust this kind of a person who is wearing torn underwears? What will happen when this person gives me kids? Is he also going to care that the children wear underwears that are not torn? Or he's going to abandon the, uh, me with the burdens of, of, of uh, you know, taking care of, uh, you know? <coughs> there are many things that we keep doing uh, while doing others. Then, like now I've just remembered that there was something I was supposed to be doing here. And this is water that I'm supposed to be boiling here. I almost forgot that I was supposed to be boiling something. So this is these are the things that are, are a turn off. And a turn off will always be a turn off. You can never force yourself to write something that is not right or proper. You know? You will never force yourself to like. <clears throat> so you can imagine that you people are dating and somebody is wearing in that tall outfit. Outfit that you know is supposed to cost very, very little. It's not expensive, but still somebody is wearing it torn. How you, are you ever going to trust this person? But this person is responsible. You will never... Trust him. You'll never know. You'll never believe that he can be responsible because you, there are some behaviors that are not supposed to be for a responsible person. Very, very responsible. Let me go to the next point because I've done whatever I was doing here. 
And you know, whenever you're doing something, you get distracted. I don't want to get distracted, guys. Because this is very important that I talk to you about these behaviors that are seen to be done by men. Men out there. And yet they think that women are the ones that are supposed to stomach everything because they want men in their wives, in their lives. I would rather not have a man in my life than have an irresponsible man who doesn't even know what they want in life. I would rather not have that. So another thing that is a turn off, and this is something that I'm going to say without a shadow of a doubt. Another thing that is a turn off, guys is a big belly a big belly oh my god guys you know as a man go to the gym if you don't want to go to the gym go and walk out there go and lift weights check what you are eating check your body check check the the the, the, the drinks and the meat that you are eating that are making you have that pot belly it's the ugliest thing that you can ever find in a man and guys, I want to tell you that if you want to look decent, avoid a pot belly. Avoid a pot belly. It, it is a turn off for ladies. For many reasons. And you, people that have stayed together as husbands and wives, can tell you that a pot belly is a, is a disadvantage to them. It makes them, <clears throat> it makes them suffer in their lives. Neither is it good for a lady. You know, when a lady develops that belly that is uh, very big it is also a turn off and it, it is something that should be avoided completely and at all cost that is something we should also look at there is another thing that i'm going to discuss here today which is a turn off completely men who go urinating by the fences fences you know you'll always find as you walk uh, near fences in the streets where there's a bush or some flowers or some trees or a small thicket, you'll always find that men stand there and they urinate. In fact, you'll find them urinating there even as you pass and they have no apologies to make. They just enter there and, and stand by the fence like this and they urinate and it is daytime. Daytime when children are walking past there, women are walking past there, people are walking and yet they are urinating there, especially in the cities. It is a turn off completely. Complete. Imagine if you found your man urinating there by the thicket, by the roadside. Would you want anything to do with that man again? I'm sweating. I'm sweating because the things I'm discussing are very annoying. <laughs> they are very annoying, guys. How can you urinate by the thicket? Can't you even spare some few moments because your body was warning you that you still needed to pass somewhere and urinate? Can't you? give your body some minutes and arrive at a point where you can enter a building and maybe pay to enter a toilet and urinate. Or when you are leaving home, couldn't you just adjust your body to a point that you reach wherever you are going so that immediately you reach, you go to the toilet? How do you go urinating by the roadside? This is a turn off completely. It is a turn off, especially people do that. When they are even drunk and they are sometimes not able to hide their, their private parts. And when you are urinating, maybe a child is passing by. And you are showing your private parts there because you are urinating. It is a turn off. It is a very bad behavior. It is very, very bad. There are also men who walk with their wives as another item here to discuss. And a man is here and the wife is, you know, the man is always ahead. And the wife is very many steps behind because they can't agree to walk with their wives, you know, walking together step by step like this. They can't walk with their wives. Yet we see in the Western world where white men go holding their, where their women's hands and walking together, you know. And uh, I don't know why African men, mostly the African men, will never walk together with their wives. You will only see these two people when they are quoting. That time they hold hearts and they walk together. But they don't even hold hearts. But at least they walk together. And they are able to walk together while discussing something. But the minute they get married and enter into their homes, you will never see a man walk with their wives because they find it an embarrassment and they never want to walk with them. If they are going somewhere where they are supposed to have left home together, 
you'll always see the man go ahead and you'll turn like this and see a wife the wife very many steps behind the man and they're not even talking to one another it is a turn off men have to improve men have to improve another item is when a man introduces a wife as mama wakwangu you know the wa the woman of my home you know the woman of my house that one is the woman of my house a woman meets another a man meets another man or another person and because he has to introduce the wife you know or it is even at home a guest has come and the guest who has come has to be introduced to the wife this man introduces the wife as this is the woman of this home the man doesn't want to say this is my wife this is my lovely wife he doesn't want to say this in swahili it is very ugly because they they call it mama wakwangu and in my mother tongue it's even worse it's even mass worse you see because they don't want to acknowledge you as a wife that is for those that are married it is also a turn off because you as a wife you feel like oh this person doesn't want, doesn't want me to to be known or to be you know he doesn't want to 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 introduce me as his wife it is a turn off if a woman is yours why don't you introduce her as your wife because she is your wife in fact in my mother tongue they say uh, mama wako you know ma, the, the mama of my home hmm? why don't you call this woman the mother to my children this is my wife the mother to my children are you not proud of the choice that you made <laughs> oh my god it is a turn off it is a very bad turn off i want to discuss the other one here and this is a man who never provides it is a turn off a turn off a turn off because a man is the provider even in the bible a man was supposed to provide for the woman and the woman was supposed to be the woman in the kitchen and cook for the family and organize the family but you the man has to brought food to the has to bring food to the house but there are men who do not even want to provide food yet they come asking am i not going to be given food in this house you know you want a woman to go there and fetch food for the children and you and come and feed you and cook you for you and feed you yet you have not even provided and you are the man a man is supposed to provide food in his house and those in the rural areas a man is also supposed to pay rent you are supposed to pay rent why should a woman go struggling to pay rent when you are the man in the house you are supposed to pay rent you are supposed to pay rent and buy the food and buy the clothes for your family otherwise you are the man anyway that is what should happen and i want to go fast and talk about another item here men who drive with their wives but they do not speak to them or even turn to them like this you are in the car together but the man is holding the steering and you know looking like this very stiff and he doesn't even want to turn his head towards the wife and the wife is like also looking out of the window like this she's also not turning the head towards the husband's side and when they, they are driving together like this when a man gets to while uh, while still driving and he meets a lady who is walking out there who is looking very smart in wearing very provocatively the man will turn and almost cause an accident because he wants to see that other one out there and this brings me to the next item where a man dictates what a woman should wear and wants the woman who is in their lives to wear very long dresses very unfashionable dresses very and stylish wear but they make sure that they refuse the women in their lives to dress smartly neither can they even buy them these nice outfits or nice hairs nice wigs nice anything they don't want but when they are driving like this and they meet a smartly dressed woman who is in this nice outfit and very nice wig and very nice this and that they will almost bang the car when they are turning to see that woman out there and the wife will ask hey you are going to bang the car what are you looking at and the man is going to turn like this and ask the lady what is your problem <laughs> oh 
my god these are things that nobody will ever tell you guys a man will turn with a very bad look on the face and ask the woman what is your problem because you as a wife has noticed that this man has really looked at that walking out lady that lady walking out there and almost banged the car while looking at her and turning his head so as a woman you just question why are you looking at that woman like that and the man tells you what is your problem <laughs> Oh my God. Another point that we are going to discuss here is a man who never treats their ladies or their women to anything. Have you ever seen mean men who can never treat their wives? Yet out there they go treating other women out there so well. Buying them alcohol, buying them gifts, uh, doing their birthdays. Women from out there, they do men do birthdays for other women out there. But they'll never, they'll never gift a lady of their house their wives anything during their birthdays because it's like they don't deserve it yet a girlfriend out there will be gifted flowers chocolate and all that on valentine's day a woman out there will be taken out will be bought flowers will be bought chocolate but you the lady of the house will never even be told happy birthday or happy valentine you know never Yet the person is very generous to other people out there. How sad. Very, very sad. This is something that should stop with men because that is what they are doing these days. <laughs> this is what they are doing these days. In the church, another item here. You probably go as a family to the church. But when you go to the church, you see a man avoiding to sit next to the wife in the church seats. The man wants to sit very far away from the, the wife. And you know, in the sermon, the pastor sometimes will tell the people, if you are sitting next to your spouse, tell them this and that, according to the uh, approachings that a sermon that is going on. Tell them this and that, and you are there seated next to somebody else's wife. Because you refuse to sit next to your wife. So what are you going to tell them? Yet you went there in, the, in God's house together as a couple, but you cannot even sit next to each other. What a shame. These are things that should be avoided by... These are things that will make even a woman disappear from a man's life completely. There are also men as another item also who never take their women to their parents' homes even after when they are courting them for years. Somebody will not agree to take you to their home for years yet you, you are the spouse. You have even had two children with him. Two children! And this man has never shown you their home in the village has never shown you their parents yet you have given him two children he has never taken you to the village yet he says you are his wife ladies be wise by the way for those that are falling into this trap be wise if somebody doesn't want to take you to his parents and introduce you there before you start giving birth to his children avoid this man like a you know Avoid them. Avoid them. Avoid them. Because you never know what will happen. Maybe they'll stay like this and stay like this and tell you, oh, I've changed my mind. Yet, you had a lot of hope and you wasted a lot of time with him. These are things that should stop. I want to discuss the very last item. Because I don't want this video to go very, very far. This is going to be the very, very last item. And as I, as I finish, I want to tell you men to improve because these things are very, very bad that you do to women. The last item is very, 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 what do I call it? What do I call it? It's an item of the house. There are women who, who, men who do not want to give love to their wives. Avoid this, you men. Give love to your wives. These are your wives. Give them love. Bye.